its value to zero. Well, and we have set the data direction register DDRA to zero x f f. That means they are set as output. I guess in peak we had to write zero x zero zero to price register. I mean price A register because when we write them to zero the pins become output in picks as far as I remember okay now what are we doing th with this A in the while loop we are actually taking the, va uh, we're taking the value of the first key in this variable we'll get first key is not some built in function I have written it and it's here I will show it to you and what is this ah well if no key is pressed then my function returns a minus one and if my the value is greater than minus one then just write down the value to port A but if it's not then do nothing and after this wait a bit okay so there goes my code these are some basic declarations and this is the function well at first this is our this is the variable where we keep our output value and then pass it outside this function using the return statement okay and the return okay now what have we done let now let's scan the first column i mean this column what have we done ddrd we have set all the pins here in high z state and this one to output why because um, in usually every microcontroller when you set the data direction register to out uh, bit to output and you write nothing in the port register i mean uh, bit i mean this is the port zero no, so uh, this is the, sorry this is the pin zero of d and this is the pin and this is also the pin zero uh, as you can see i have set this to output and this to zero that means it will remain low and what have we have I done here well these two you can see here these two are the second and third columns and this one and they are set to high while these two are low what does this do well I have mentioned it before it enables the pull up and these are our four input pins I mean through which we are taking the inputs and they are also set to 001111 that means we have enabled pull ups there too okay now this is a function from the AVR IOH it says uh, it returns true if a particular bit or a particular pin of a register is set to high I will return false if it's set to low well basically basically when all the uh, when a pin is pull, pulled up when an input pin is pulled up it's set to high I mean the pin has been set to high using a pull up register so when we set the value of this pin to low the high and low doesn't get short circuited okay uh, now when we have set this to low and what do we do here what I told you here I am ve I'm ve very quickly scanning the pin 4 5 6 7 when this is set to low and these are in high z state 
these are in high Z step, these are pulled up, these are pulled up and this one is low and I press this button, what happens? This one gets low. How? Well, someone is at the door, uh, please wait. Okay. When this one is set to low, these are in high Z step, these are in high, these pins are also in high Z step and the and this one is set to low, okay. If I press it, sorry, uh, and if I press it, what do I get? A low signal and here this was all already in high z step this was already in high z step so no, no change of logic so while this column is set to low and we press any of the switches and we scan them with these lines what do we actually do well we are actually scanning this four rows and when say I am pressing 4 and this one is set to low I get this value low so I say aha uh, my first column was set to low and my and when I am scanning very quickly I have got this one as low so I must have pressed 4 I mean here I must have pressed this button and what is this button in this keypad 4 okay and after this after scanning them we wait a bit uh, well remember this delay is very important if you don't give it then you won't get a desired output your microcontroller will go haywire okay now set this to D DDRD now we have set this to high Z step we have set this to low, we have set them this to, we have enabled the pull up, we have enabled the pull up and these pins are all the same and we are scanning, okay, what happens here, we have set this to low, then we now if we press this pin, well no change in logic state, these were set to pulled up, these are also pulled up, no change in logic state, but when we press this, we say, aha, my second column is set to low and we are getting, uh, and I am getting a low signal in any of these pins. So, I must have pressed 2 or 5 or 8 or 0. And that's what I am doing. I am setting the output value to 2, 5, 8 or 0 using this bit of set and this means if my bit is set to low that's why I have used this not signal well if you have tried to do it with pick I don't know if they have a very useful function like bit is set you could have done this uh, like if I don't know how they describe the pin register if pin d and 1 shift to 4 we could have used this line I guess actually this function is exactly does this ok now after scanning we just return the output. Now, if we, I, what if I haven't pressed any button? The, as you can see, while initializing this variable, I have set this value to minus one. So, if I haven't pressed any button, they remain constant. So this value remains unchanged, and I get the minus one here. Well, now let's see our program in action well <coughs> I have set the DDR value to output and he is getting all those signals low and 
by default uh, it will give no signal and what if I press this one hey I get a one and here there's five there's four there's seven there's eight there's nine there's zero there's two there's th three well what am I actually doing I'm just directly setting these values to this register and as none of them has exceeded 4 bits so I can read them with the 7448 BCD to 7 decoder and I can say, see them in a 7 segment display and you can see how quickly this scan is being done well, uh, in my code you can see this is a matter of microseconds okay I hope you loved this tutorial and you will oh I forgot to tell you one thing well have you understood how, that how this reduces the pin consumption well this is a very convenient method uh, like when you are interfacing you know say 20 to 20 keypad to your microcontroller how many pins do you need well 400 <laughs> well as since my knowledge goes no basic microcontroller has got 400 pins but actually but when you use this matrix technique and you form a 20 into 20 matrix how many pins do you need? well simple column plus row that means only 40 pins well that's also quite high but many you know FMD package MCUs such as the 80 mega 64 or some other microcontrollers they can provide you with that much pins and if you, you may take input using maxes that will reduce the pin count and, and there are also other techniques many have implemented uh, fi uh, this using a 555 well I will tell you about them later or you can the, uh, you can google them in the internet well well Thank you for watching.